Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Hui Ying and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of matter. I have prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 8. The graph below show the mass and volume of K, L, M and N. So based on this statement, what properties are we looking at? We are going to look at the mass and the volume. Based on the graph given to us, the question wants us to identify which of the following are matter. So right now, we are required to figure out among K, L, M and N, which of them are matter just by looking at the graph given to us. So what are the properties shown to us on the graphs again? The graph shows us the mass and the volume of K, L, M and N. So how is the mass and volume related to matter? To answer this question, we will need to recall the important properties of matter first. So what are the two properties of matter? The properties of matter is that matter has mass and matter occupies space. So let's focus on the first property of matter first. What is the definition of mass? Mass is the amount of matter in an object. So since we are talking about mass, let's focus on the mass graph. How do we measure mass? We can use instruments such as the electronic balance or the lever balance to measure mass. So let's say I were to put a soft toy on an electronic balance. Do you expect to see a reading on the electronic balance? Yes, this is because we know that soft toy has mass. If the soft toy has mass, can we call the soft toy a matter? The answer is yes. Now, what if I remove the soft toy from the balance and I shine light onto the electronic balance? Will there be any reading shown? No, this is because light does not have mass. If light does not have mass, can we call light matter? No, light in this case is a non-matter. With that, let's look at the mass graph. So how is mass going to be represented in this graph? Basically, whenever there's a reading shown on the electronic balance, the reading will be represented by a bar in the graph. So let's look at K. We see a bar for K. What does this mean? It means that K has mass. But are you able to tell what is the mass of K? No, this is because there are no numbers written on the graph. But we know that if there is a bar, it means that K has mass. So now, if K has mass, is K similar to the soft toy or the light? It is similar to the soft toy. So can we call K a matter? The answer is yes. Other than K, who else also has mass? It will be M and N. This is because there are bars drawn for both M and N, which means they have mass too. So if M and N also have mass, we can also call them matter. How about L? Does L have a bar? No. So if L does not have a bar, does L have mass? No. Since L does not have mass, is L similar to the soft toy or the light? It is similar to the light. So L must be a non-matter. So just by looking at the mass graph, we already know that K, M and N, they are matter. So why does the question still show us a graph of volume? Now this is due to the second property of matter. So what is the second property of matter again? It is that matter occupies space. What does it mean when matter occupies space? It means that matter has volume. We said that K, M and N, they are matter based on the mass graph. So do you think K, M and N, they will also need to occupy space? The answer is yes. So if they need to occupy space, will they also have volume? Yes. So let's check the volume graph. Does K, M and N have volume? The answer is yes. This helps us to double confirm that K, M and N, they must be matter since they have both mass and volume. So based on what we have discussed, which option is the correct answer? The answer will be option 3. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time.